630. The deer population in Colorado Springs is booming to the point there will be a lot of discussion in the months ahead by city council on possibly taking action to thin the numbers. Yeah, one of the options holding a special hunt. We're following up for you tonight. A new at 630. Bill Folsom looking closer into what council is considering right now. Bill. Yeah, because deer are on the move, it's hard to get precise counts, but there is enough information to show there are not just too many, but far too many for what's considered natural. The best time for thinning herds is the fall, so city council has to make decisions in the next couple of months. The attention getter, bringing up a hunt for deer in city limits. Barring a sudden change of opinion, it's not likely. This is not something we're really looking uh, very strongly at, uh, just because it's very dense population inside the city and that wouldn't, wouldn't be particularly safe. Other options for reducing and controlling the deer population are being discussed. A study breaking the city into 39 zones looked at deer numbers. It shows dozens, even hundreds of deer in areas where there should be a lot less. And the problem is citywide. Out here on the east side, in my area, uh, we had the fourth and fifth highest counts of zones. Then there are the number of deer dying along roadways in Colorado Springs. We do know how many deer the uh, public works picks up off the street, and that's 306 last year. Collisions and close calls are among the main complaints about the deer. They also destroy yards. The calls and emails to city council are about two-thirds in favor of reducing deer numbers. The other third either are concerned about a humane solution or not doing anything at all. Either surgical sterilization or birth control has not been effective. Colorado Division of Parks and Wildlife is working with the city as consultants. A decision on a plan is up to city council. Everything right now is a maybe, but the ideas considered safer and cost effective are getting more weight. Probably we're going to go down the road of uh, hiring a company that would do a kind of a professional come in and, and target particular areas. And the plan is to schedule community meetings to get input on what the public wants to do. Rob? Bill, thanks.